Do you ever feel like something is holding you back? You might lay in bed, feeling hopeless and thinking about where you should be, what you should be doing, but never finding the energy to get up and face the day. You might feel this way because you're in a bad situation. You might feel this way despite the fact that you're in the best place you've ever been. Either way, you can't help but feel like something is wrong. You think, what's wrong with me, am I just lazy? Someone might have told you that before you when you opened up. These people make you feel like you're just lazy, but sometimes it's not that simple. There might be an issue that they can't see. Here are 10 signs that you might be depressed, not lazy. Let's start with sign number one, sleep pattern changes. If you have depression, there's a chance you might also have insomnia. Insomnia is a common sleep disorder that creates issues getting to sleep. This happens even if you're in ideal conditions. Insomnia generally stems from stress, anxiety, or both. It can also stem from sleep apnea, a disorder where an individual stops breathing for seconds at a time while sleeping. While it's less common, you might have issues with oversleeping as well. Both of these can worsen depression, so you should try your best to correct your sleeping habits. If you can't on your own, it would be a good idea to talk to your doctor. Number 2. Loss of Energy Depression can cause fatigue. This can be as a result of a bad sleep schedule or its own issue. You might turn to caffeine to solve this problem, but that's generally not the best idea because it could turn into a caffeine dependency. In this case, it would likely make your fatigue worse. This can also lead to our next sign. Number 3. Withdrawnness and Hedonia As a person with depression, you may find yourself enjoying things less. This feeling is called anhedonia. There are two types, social anhedonia, where social situations no longer bring you joy. Physical anhedonia, when touch, smells, or sounds no longer bring you joy. Both types of anhedonia can strain relationships between you and your family or friends. Anhedonia can be treated through therapy, so if you're experiencing it, then it may be a good idea to talk to a psychiatrist. It also causes other depressive symptoms to appear. A good example of this would be our next sign. Number 4. Mood Swings It's not hard to believe that mood swings are a symptom of depression. You're probably tired, unmotivated, and even hungry, so naturally, you can become a little snappy at times. But sometimes, you need to know when they're becoming concerning. If your mood swings are interfering with your daily life, causing issues with drinking or thoughts of suicide, you should seek help. Exercise is a good way to minimize mood swings as well as some other symptoms such as our next one. Number 5. Feelings of Despair This is probably the most well-known and misunderstood symptom of depression. It's the thought, nothing I will do add up, it's all pointless, so why try? Listening to this may make you think, well, everyone feels that way sometimes. Yeah, that's right, but people with depression feel it consistently. Sometimes depression can affect you for life. While there might not be a way to completely cure it, treatment is always possible to lighten the load. Number 6. Social Isolation Depression can also cause social isolation. There could be several reasons for this, especially related to anhedonia. You may also feel like this due to other symptoms such as self-loathing or the general belief that your peers don't want to be around you. This might also be related to other disorders such as bipolar disorder or generalized social anxiety disorder. Number 7. Anxiety Anxiety is often a partner to depression and is also another symptom people often misunderstand. Anxiety is the constant and unnecessary worry over everyday things. It may take the thought, did I remember to turn the stove off before I left, to I need to go home and turn the stove off or my house will catch on fire. When in reality, they checked to make sure the stove was off several times before they left. Luckily, anxiety is treatable and you can make lifestyle changes to dampen the symptoms you may be experiencing. Number 8. Difficulty Thinking Straight Depression can make it hard to think straight. You may often forget things even as you're saying them, or you might forget things other people say to you. While this doesn't seem important at first, this can cause a strain on relationships. People around you might assume you don't find them important if you're constantly forgetting things they care about. In this way, it can also affect your self-esteem. You might assume you're incompetent. This could also urge you to isolate yourself, thinking you don't deserve to be around people you care about. Number 9. Diet Changes if you have depression, you might have trouble eating or constant cravings. 
anhedonia may be the cause of this. The loss of pleasure can cause you to avoid eating or eat as a form of dopamine seeking. As a person experiencing these issues, you probably hear something along the lines of, it's easy enough to put the fork down, or just eat, you look like a twig. People assume it's easy to change your diet. We know that's not true. But here's a tip anyways. If you have an issue with overeating, reduce your portion slowly. Your body is probably used to a specific portion, so suddenly only eating half of what you normally would will most likely just end in you feeling fatigued. It's better to gradually reduce your plate to a comfortable amount. A similar solution applies to correcting under eating. If you suddenly eat too much, it could make you feel sick. So, you should slowly increase your food intake. Remember, you shouldn't feel guilty if you can't finish a meal or if you eat too much sometimes. What's most important is that your body is getting the nutrients it needs. Number 10. Thoughts of Suicide Thoughts of suicide, passive suicidal ideation, are both two sides of one of the most commonly known symptoms of depression. Over 45,000 people committed suicide in 2021 and 1.7 million suicide attempts. Now, you may not recognize the second term. Passive suicidal ideation is not the idea that you want to kill yourself, but the idea that you want something to kill you. You might think, for example, I hope I'm hit by a car on my way to work. This may sound strange to you, but this is more common than seriously thinking of suicide and should be taken just as seriously. Depression affects 9.5% of the American population. That sounds like a small amount, but it's really over 600 million. If you're considering the fact that you might have depression, it's important to talk to a psychiatrist or even a friend if you can't afford that. Either way, talking to someone can help. Everyone deserves a support system. Remember, overcoming depression may be a challenge, but it's not impossible. You are the one in control of your mental health. If you struggle with depression, share your tips on how to manage it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more.